Tired of copying and pasting between ChatGPT and your actual work? There's a much better way to use AI that I really wish more people knew about. Instead of manual back and forth conversations, you can build automated AI workflows that run in the background while you focus on the work that actually matters. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the AI workflow company. In this video, I'll show you how to connect OpenAI directly to your workflows using a powerful automation tool called N8N. You'll learn how to set up custom AI prompts that trigger automatically, and I'll walk you through a real-world example where we automatically transcribe audio files without any manual work. Let's dive in. The first thing you'll need to do is authorize N8N to access your OpenAI account. And just to clarify, you'll need to use an OpenAI developer platform account, not a ChatGPT profile. You can go to platform.openai.com to create an account if you don't have one already, and you can go to settings and billing to add your payment info and buy credits. To follow along with this tutorial today, you won't need many credits at all. Each request will only cost a few cents each at the most. You can see more details on OpenAI's pricing page, which I've added to the resources board in the description. Once your OpenAI developer platform account is set up, log in to N8N to create the credential. From your overview page, you can click on the arrow next to Create Workflow here in the top right. Then select Create Credential. Search for OpenAI and select it from the list. To complete the credential, you just need an API key, which you can get from your OpenAI account. Click on Settings and choose API Keys. Then create a new secret key. Give your key a descriptive name and copy it. Go back to N8N and paste your key in. Click Save. This will test and save the new credential, which you can now use in any OpenAI step in N8N. Now let's use this OpenAI credential to build an automated AI workflow. If you're brand new to N8N, you can check out my beginner's guide to learn the basics, which is linked on screen now. However, the workflow we're building today is very simple, and you can follow along even if you haven't used N8N much at all before. You can start your automation however you'd like, using any trigger and any app you want. Just make sure to pick a trigger that will gather any data you want to send as part of your AI prompt. Though, you can also add search steps after the trigger to find more info if you need to. For my example today, I'll be using Airtable as the trigger app. I'm going to build a workflow that runs whenever there's a new record added to this audio transcripts table. Then, it will send the attached audio file to OpenAI for a transcription and summary. My Airtable trigger is already configured, with the base and table selected. There's just one important thing to note here. I've enabled Download Attachments and specified the field name that I want to download from. These settings ensure that N8N makes a copy of the actual attached file. Otherwise, it would only retrieve the file name and metadata, which we would not be able to use to create a transcription. So be sure to enable this setting if you want to process a file with AI. Once your trigger is all set, give it a test to pull in some data. We can view the downloaded file under the Binary tab and all of the other data retrieved in the Schema, Table, and JSON tabs. Next, let's add an OpenAI step to this workflow. You can select either Action in an App or AI to find OpenAI. Then, pick the specific action you want to perform. There are several options here, including creating or messaging an assistant, analyzing an image, generating an image, and more. If you just want to send a straightforward prompt to an OpenAI model, you can use Message a Model, which I'll cover more later in this video. But first, I'm going to transcribe this recording we retrieved from Airtable. That's under Audio Actions. This one's very easy to set up. Just choose your OpenAI account as the credential. The Resource and Operation fields are already set to what we want, Audio and Transcribe a Recording. So the last thing we need to do is to just provide the Input Data Field name. This is the name of the field that contains the audio file we want to transcribe. You can find the correct name here in the binary tab in the input window. My file's called audio file underscore zero, so I'll copy and paste that into the field here. Every file that the automation processes should use this same name. In all my tests while preparing this video, using that hard-coded file name worked every time. With this simple configuration all set, you can click Execute Step to send the prompt and audio file to OpenAI. Before you click, be aware that this will actually send your request to OpenAI's API and consume some credits accordingly. But running a transcription with the Whisper 1 model costs less than a cent per minute. This isn't going to break the bank unless you're transcribing hours and hours of material. So I'll go ahead and execute the step. 
it takes just a few seconds for the AI to transcribe my short audio clip. Then it returns just one data point, a text variable containing the entire transcription. I'll click on the table tab to show the full text. Looks good. Need help setting up your company's AI workflows? X-Ray specializes in creating custom AI automation solutions with OpenAI, N8N, Zapier, and dozens of other platforms. We've helped businesses of all sizes build powerful tools that save thousands of hours of manual work, reduce errors, and turn scattered AI prompts into scalable workflows. Visit xray.tech today and book a free 15-minute consultation. We'll discuss your specific challenges and determine your best options for automating and optimizing your company's processes. Now let's get back to building our workflow. You can send this transcript wherever you'd like. You could add a Gmail step to send it in an email, add a Slack step to send it in a channel message, or add another Airtable step to update the original record. The sky's the limit here. Any app supported by N8N is fair game. But first, I wanna have the AI create a quick summary of this transcription. There's no pre-built prompt for summaries, so I'll just need to send a generic prompt. To do that, pick message a model. You can pick your OpenAI account again as the credential. The resource and operation should already be correctly selected. So all you need to do is pick the model you want to use and compose a prompt. You've got access to any OpenAI model you want here. You can check out their pricing page for details, but generally the best and newest models will be more expensive than the older and slower ones. That said, any one prompt will likely cost you a few cents at the most. I'll go with the latest 4.0 model. The prompt will be simple. I'll just say, summarize this transcript in one to two sentences. I'll also drag the text variable from the previous step into the prompt window. So OpenAI will see the correct transcript with each incoming prompt. You can use the options section to tweak precise settings like the output randomness or presence penalty, but I'll just leave this one as is. Once your prompt is all set, you can give it a test by clicking on execute step. And again, you'll just have to wait a few seconds to get the AI's response. We can see the summary in the content variable. Looks like it's a good concise overview. Finally, I'm just gonna quickly add one more step to insert both of these AI responses into the original Airtable base. That way I'll be able to see the transcription and summary without leaving Airtable. So I'll add an Airtable step and choose update record as the action. Then I'll pick the base and table I wanna use. Under the values to update section, we can provide the data we want to add to the record. I'll enter the ID of the record retrieved in the trigger so N8N can find the correct record to update. Then I'll add the AI responses from both steps into the transcript and summary fields respectively. With this step configured, I'll give it a test. The output looks good in N8N, but I'll just check Airtable to be safe. And we can see that the record's been updated with the AI responses. Great. This automation is all set, so I'll enable it in N8N. Now it will check Airtable for new records every minute. When it finds one, it will send the attached recording to OpenAI for transcription and summary exactly as we configured it. And there you have it. You've just automated OpenAI to work seamlessly in the background. No more switching between tabs or copying and pasting responses. Your AI workflows can now run automatically, whether you're transcribing audio, analyzing data, or handling any other repetitive task. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation updates every single week. You can also find me and my company X-Ray by searching for X-Ray Automation on nearly every social media platform. For now, I've got to go. So until next time, find your focus and stay in flow.